Hey guys, welcome to your lesson on number patterns. Okay, first of all, what is a number pattern? A number pattern is uh, it's a sequence of numbers where we can predict the the next number in the sequence. So, for example, if I have the number seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, etc. Okay quite easy to predict the next number. You can have a look here. Here I added 4 to get to 11. Added 4 again to get 15. Added 4 again to get to 19. So I can guess the next one to be 23. Well, not really guess. I actually worked it out. Then 27. Then 31. Okay. So that is an example of a special type of number pattern and we can also call number patterns sequences and that um, is what we're going to call them. Now each or number patterns all have four things that that make up that number pattern. Okay, I'm going to call it the elements of sequences. Okay, the first thing that they have is terms a term 1, a term 2, a term 3. Okay, so each element, well, each value in here is called a term. And this would be our first term. Here's a different color now. Okay, first term, that would be my second term, my third term, my fourth term, fifth term. I think you get the idea. The next is called the first one is kind of the, the terms I can also call a term value. I prefer that actually because the next one you might get a little bit confused on. Term value. That's the value at each position. And then I get a term position. And that is exactly this little small number at the bottom. That just indicates the position that a certain value has in the sequence. So for example, the value 27 would be the seventh one in the sequence. So his term position would be 7 and we use an n to indicate it. The number, the seventh number in the term. Okay, so that one would be, his term position would be 7. Now uh, we also get what we call the general term the general term. Now this is something that most students actually uh, get a little bit confused about. The general term is a formula containing n the term position and it can be used to calculate any term value given a certain position. So, ah, let's use an example. Okay, let's say that the Tn is equal to 7n minus 1 divided by 3n squared. That's an example. Okay, so if I were to write down this sequence I would first have to evaluate what is the first value of the sequence and therefore I substitute a 1 into n. Okay, And that's why this one is called the general term because it can be used to calculate any value. So 7, n is replaced with 1, 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 so it doesn't really matter what happens at the bottom but anyway, 1 is squared so I get 0 divided by 3 which gives me 0. Okay, my second term I will replace it with a 2. So 7, 2 minus 1 divided by 3 times 2 squared. Okay, 2 squared is 4. 3 times 2 is therefore 12. And in the numerator, 2 minus 1 is 1 times 7 is just 7. So my fir first term is 0, my second term is 7 over 12. Let's just do one more. Usually they ask you to calculate three terms using a certain general term. 
So 3 minus 1 over 3 times 3 squared. And this answer is going to give us 3 minus 1 is 2. 7 times 2 is 14. The denominator, 3 times 3 times 3. It's 3 squared times 3. It's 27. And uh, that is my third term. So that's just why this is called the general term. And I can then also use it to find the hundredth term if I wanted to, any term. So each, so far, each sequence has terms terms positions can be described by a general term and finally um, the sequences that we're going to look at has got some sort of identification okay identification What do I mean by that? Well, for example, the arithmetic sequence, the top one is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Uh, let me just write it like that. has got a constant difference. And just to explain, here's an example of a constant difference. If I take 11 and I divide it, uh, subtract 7, I get 4. If I take 15 minus 11, I get 4. 19 minus 15, I get 4. And that's an example of a constant difference. Okay, then we also get the geometric sequence. And you should remember this from previous grade grades. Or you might. and the geometric sequence also has a constant but it's got a constant ratio because in the geometric sequence we're multiplying to get the next value in the arithmetic sequence we add to get the next value okay, and then finally we get a quadratic sequence usually quite a quite a challenging sequence not easy to calculate its general term but possible and it's also got a constant but it's got a s constant second difference and don't worry if you don't understand just yet we are going to have a video later on explaining that cool hope you got the basics of this next up the arithmetic sequence